Hello everybody and how are things today? This video is about my Doom map designing. So I am fairly well known in the Doom community as Peacoff and I have been creating maps for Doom and Doom 2 ever since 1996. Normally I don't speak about this topic on my YouTube channel. My channel is more dedicated to my music and other creative things such as train spotting, etc. But today we we're talking about my doom mapping. So I started working back in 1996. I first played Doom in 1995 on the Super Nintendo and I was hooked. And then um, I eventually played it on the PC and my brother used to like getting gaming magazines. And I noticed an article about a map editor and I thought to myself, wow, this is exciting, is it? I believe this map editor was Doomad the real thing. So I eventually um, found some shareware discs and CD ROMs and um, looked at different editors such as White Ed, Dew, etc. And then I came across this map editor named Doomcad, and it had a built-in tutorial. Eventually, I figured it out, and I started making a bunch of small experimental maps. I remember the first time I ever created a map, it was two rooms with connected by a door, and I was just so happy to have my own working map. As time passed by, I created more and more complex maps and worked on some experimental episodes including an experimental Wolfenstein episode which has not been released it's not that great but some of the maps in the episode have been released down the line and then later in 1996 I decided to start work on my own Doom 2 Megawad named The Twilight Zone and um, yeah I had the hang of the map editor and I had a lot of fun creating the maps in that episode. So often after school and on weekends I would spend a lot of my time in Doomcad creating the maps, building the nodes, testing. It was a lot of fun. It was great fun. Taking down notes, working on ideas. I love creating secrets and things like that. It was just beautiful fun. And even figuring out how to add new textures to the world and all that stuff. It was a great experience. And then, eventually, the WAD was released on id Games, early in 1998. And then I started working on a few more projects, such as Death Tormention and the sequel to The Twilight Zone, The Twilight Zone 2 Final Dreams, both which were released early in 1999. I also created various standalones, and then... In 2000, I started my own community project named 2001 A Doom Odyssey, and the goal was to get it released in 2001, but because of other people in the team taking their time and people dropping out of their maps, the project was delayed to July 2002, and it was released as 2002 A Doom Odyssey, and it received a lot of praise from the Doom community back then. I worked on various other projects such as Bella and Bella 2 and then Death Tormention 2 was also released and in 2004 I worked on an Ultimate Doom episode named Simply Phobos, an episode of one replacement for Doom and um, in 2005 I worked on the third episode of Death Tormention, Death Tormention 3 and that was released later in the year. But then after that, my ideas started running dry. I started getting more experimental. I worked on joke wads. I worked on some terrible stuff. And um, even though some people found it funny, a lot of people didn't find it funny. And, you know, I released some horrific stuff. And I even got banned from the Doomod forums at one stage because, you know... I was suffering from so much depression and I was being judgmental and feisty and all that stuff. 
But then after written permission and getting back into forums, I had to revive myself from this deep hole, dig myself out. So me and Christian Nebula, we started work on what was to be intended the best megawatt ever for Doom 2, named Whispers of Satan, a full 32 levels for limit removing ports. And we started work on it late in 2006, and we had a ball working on the maps. It was eventually released in 2009, I was very proud of it. Original soundtrack, awesome looking levels as I thought, but there was a problem. It received a lot of critics from members in the community, such as the repetitive design, copy and paste, and all that stuff. Particularly map 6 with all its symmetry. Even though I got a cargo award, I don't think today it would have gotten a cargo award, but back in 2009 it was pretty weak here. But yeah, a lot of, lot of symmetry and all that stuff, and people didn't like some of the design. While other people loved the design, so there were some great maps and there were some terrible maps. And I never heard the end of the word symmetry spat at me. You know what? That inspired me to become a better mapper. I took a bit of a break from mapping and then I worked on various standalone releases and then the next megawatt I worked on was in 2013 named Zone 300 where all the maps were limited to 300 line deaths. I also made a Doom 2 episode named Doom Space Wars because I always wanted to make a Star Wars inspired episode. So Doom Space Wars was a 12 level episode plus some deathmatch maps and it included an original soundtrack in MP3 format. Orchestral soundtrack similar to John Williams compositions in Star Wars. So it got a runner up in the Cargo Awards and yeah, it was a fairly successful release, Doom Space Wars. I always plan to work on a sequel to Zone 300 and name it Zone 400, but before I started work on that, in 2017, I started work on the sequel to 2002 Adum Odyssey. It was going to be named 2022 Adum Odyssey, and it was going to be a kick-ass megawatt for Doom 1. Yeah, no symmetry, interconnected layouts. I had learned all my lessons from the past. And me, Christian, Chris Hansen, the three members of the original team, we worked hard. I did most of the maps. And while during the development of 2022 Doom Odyssey, I also worked on another megawatt named Zone 400, the sequel to Zone 300. And once again, I wanted to integrate that interconnected layout into most of the maps. Plus an original soundtrack full of joy and emotion. The same could be said with 2022 Adobe Modesty. Also, an original soundtrack in a similar manner. In 2021, Zone 400 was released. 32 new levels of Doom 2, limited to 400 line deaths per map apart from the super secret level. And finally, on the 31st of October, 2022, after more than five years of development, 2022, a Doom Odyssey was finally released after a six-week beta testing period, released on the 31st of October, and we were very proud of it. It contains five new episodes, the themes are similar to the original Doom, like Nick Deep and the Dead, The Shores of Hell, Inferno, etc. So episode one is like the original episode one, same with two, blah, blah, blah. Episode four is a bit like my Death Tormention episodes. And episode five, which was not originally intended to be included in the Mega One, was included because John Romero released Sigil a few years before. And I decided that I wanted to improve Sigil and make a superb version of it. Incendio Crucio is the name of the fifth episode of 2022 Doom Odyssey. 
There are eight levels per episode, one secret level, and a super secret level accessible in Map Info and U Map Info ports. After the release of 2022 Adoom Odyssey, it is time to focus more on real life, such as bringing up my family and musical projects, such as my new Aluvi musical project, which will be revealed on this channel eventually. And with Doom Mapping, I will occasionally make a standalone map or a map for a community project, but you know, it's been a long journey and I'm quite tired of my life. I need to focus on things. So I hope you enjoyed my Doom Mapping journey. It's been a great fun hobby for the last almost 30 years. There's been the ups, there's been the downs, I've met new people, it's been great. And I will still continue to play the game from time to time and, as I said, map. But now it's time to focus more on my YouTube channel. I want to incorporate travel vlogs and I have some really you know, new ideas where I want to expand my channel for more exposure. And because my goal in life is for as much success as possible. So I can be happy. And I want everyone to be happy with my creations. I might not be a perfect person. But nobody is. So thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe. And give a thumbs up of course. And take care. Be safe. And have a great day. Or night or afternoon, whatever, ahead. Love you all. See ya.